Hey guys, here is my new DJI Phantom 4 drone. I've had it about a week and had some great flights with it. I'm actually currently in Norway, which is pretty much scenic central. There's beautiful waterfalls, pine trees and mountains to shoot. It's, it's just a great place to, to fly your drone. Anyway, so I was visiting a friend and we went to a cool location to shoot some footage. Um, my friend asked me if he could pilot the drone, so I thought, yeah, sure, why not? I mean, it's the easiest thing I've ever flown. Up means up, down means down, left means left, and right means right. I mean, it's really, really not hard at all. Um, but it's safe to say I found out why not pretty soon. He flew the drone straight into the top of a huge pine tree, and then we kind of watched in horror as it began to drop down from the top branch through all the branches, just down, 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 all three branches. I'm trying to get the, the remote off my friend to try and stop the drone turning off so that nothing else would get broken. I was pretty stressed out, a little bit worried. Um, this, this drone costs kind of more than a crap car or even a small car, uh, depending on which country you're in. I'm in Norway, so of course cars aren't that cheap here, but yeah, so it really was not fun to see your, your new drone dropping from the top of a pine tree all the way down to the bottom. So just to go over the most obvious injuries to this drone, you can see that the propeller here, uh, he's kind of been uh, snapped here and there's a chunk missing out here. Um, so this propeller really can't be used again. Uh, and then you see this this bit here where the propeller's attached to. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of all twisted plastic. Uh, and that's, that's not particularly good either. You can't attach the propellers to this anymore. It just wouldn't work and it wouldn't be safe anyway. I would never ever try and even attach a propeller to this and fly the drone. So that's gonna have to be replaced. And you can see this this bit here, it's just lost all of its plastic attachments. All of it has just kind of ripped off here. Just to show you a normal one, this would be a normal one. You can see it looks really good. There's no twisting uh, plastic, there's no twisted plastic, and you can safely attach propellers to this. There would be no problem at all. So yeah, that's just a few of the most obvious things. Thankfully, I have to say, the camera is unscathed. It's perfect. I've checked on the, the DJI app. Everything works as perfect and this can still move up and down and around and there's no obvious cracks on the screen. So I'm pretty lucky. I mean, it was just the, the propellers and some of these attachments. So I'm gonna show you how to change some of these attachments and that's that won't be too hard. And then you can just buy a propeller set uh, to replace the one you've had. The DJI drone, uh, DJI Phantom 4, actually comes with an extra set of propellers, so that's kind of handy for people like me, I guess. So as you can see, I got my new propellers, but probably more importantly are these little things here. Um, my attachments that I actually need to screw into the, the drone um, and that's really handy because without these attachments the propellers could not go into the drone anyway um, because of the broken attachments so uh, you can buy these anywhere I bought mine from eBay uh, you just type in DJI Phantom 4 um, replacements or spare parts or dumb people that crash their DJI Phantom 4s. I'm just kidding, but anywhere on eBay you can probably find these and Amazon will probably have them. The DJI website will probably have them. So as I said, you can get them kind of anywhere. Um, you just have to search for it and you'll find them. So before you start repairing anything on your drone, just take a picture of your drone from above, just with a normal camera, your mobile phone, anything will do. The camera is forward facing, the battery's at the back. It doesn't matter, but on my example, the camera is here the batteries at the back, just take note of that. Take a picture from above, um, because if you still don't, or if you don't have these stickers on anymore, my drone is quite new, uh, most people take these stickers off. It's quite important as to where the plastic attachments go. You see here, um, the black propellers go here, and the silver propellers go over there. And that, by that you see the silver ring is here, um, silver propellers go here and the black attachments are over there so the the black propellers go here um, because if you take all of your plastic attachments off over there 
and you you can't remember which ones were the black ones and which ones were the silver ones, you're probably going to run into some trouble. And if you're not close to the internet and you can't check where they are supposed to go, then again, you're going to run into some trouble. It will save you a lot of time anyway, just so you remember. Um, because not everyone is going to leave these stickers on like I did. My drone is quite new, so I hadn't taken them off yet. Um, as I say, just take a picture from above. It really isn't hard and it will save you time in the future anyway. Um, just to know where things were before you started uh, moving all of it. So the only things you actually need to repair your propellers and the attachments are an Allen key set and basically the, the bits that you've bought from the internet, both the metal bit and the, the plastic bit. So not too much and um, let's get cracking. So I actually have a slight problem here because the original, um, which is there, um, doesn't actually match the replacement I got. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, but the um, the locking me mechanism on the, the new one I got is actually anti-clockwise, um, whereas this one is kind of clockwise. So you see the, the little heads there are the opposite to the little heads here. Uh, and that's actually a big problem because when I will put the, the propellers on, I need the locking mechanism to go this way and not the locking me mechanism to go this way. So I'm actually going to need to use the replacement black ones that I got, um, which actually match the, uh, the broken one here much better. Um, because you see here the, the locking mechanism is clockwise. Um, I don't know how how well you can see that. So yeah, I think I'll use the black ones on here, even though it says silver, and then I will tipix tipix out the black dots. Yeah, so that actually might worked uh, much better with the locking mechanism, but I'm going to have to remember to paint those black dots white, otherwise it's going to get confusing when I take these stickers off. Yeah, so you see here that the, the black replacement bits that I got in my pack from eBay don't match the black replacement bits here, they're the opposite direction as you can see. So I'm actually going to have to use the white replacement bits on this and paint black dots on them.